Hey guys, this is Dynaco Productions. Today we have our first planes themed video. We're just going to be showcasing our entire diecast and playset collection. We don't have too much, but um, everything that we have here is uh, right in front of us and we're putting it in one video. So we're going to take you through uh, where we got everything, uh, the, when they were released, and all that. And yeah, we hope you enjoy the video. So our first area over here on the playset is the Prop Wash Junction playset. This was originally released in 2013, um, and I bought it around 2017 on Amazon. Uh, I think it was about 20 or 30 dollars or so, more expensive now that it's uh, been discontinued for a longer time. Uh, but yeah, so it comes with uh, these two uh, pieces of runway, as well as this sort of ramp that you can uh, shoot the die cast down. It comes with um, uh, this plastic dusty here as well as a plastic skipper uh, so uh, those go in he goes in his uh, flight school there and then there's also the Colonel Co thing there it has a part that spins as you saw uh, the planes that have the little attachment on the bottom can go in there which most diecasts do and then um, here we have the chug this does not come with it this is the actual die cast that we just picked up at uh, either Target or Walmart uh, originally when the planes die casts were being released. Um, so also it features uh, this area as I said before where you can uh, shoot the planes down so if you just let them go they'll end up here and then there's a, another area over here with a control tower that you could uh, maybe fit if you had it's a little tight but fit pity sized characters in there, and then uh, this uh, fueling area, you just press down on that, and it'll go down. So that's the first area of our planes playset. So starting with the left side of our Prop Wash Junction playset, we have uh, Windy Wheel Chocks, and I ordered this diecast on Amazon with a big order about three years ago or so. A lot of these die casts that we're gonna go over were ordered them then. The wheels on this one don't really turn super well. Like you can see when it goes down here, it kind of it doesn't really go on here very well. Um, but yeah, just a basic plane. The next coming over here is lead bottom, which uh, has very uh, spinny wheels. I actually found this one at Kmart also about three years ago. Um, that was about the time where they started uh, taking the die cast out of uh, mainstream stores like Target and Walmart. So uh, it was, you know, kind of random to find this in Kmart. On the side it has the vitamin and mulch logo. Yeah, and also on the other side. And then coming down here is um, Kate the Corn Cob Girl. This uh, features a working landing gear down here. Um, all these also have spinning propellers too. This one was also from Amazon as well. And then here is Jolly Wrench's Dusty which came in a four pack with uh, Chug here and also um, Dottie and Skipper. We only have the plastic ones over here. Um, the other ones are not in this uh, playset. Then up here is our plastic dusty, which is the um, pretty much the same as the normal one, just not with die cast. Again, it has the uh, feature to hook up under here. So here we have the skipper, which again is the plastic version. Again, a propeller that spins. This plastic version came with the playset, and then rounding off with uh, Mayday here, the die cast version. So this next part is the Prop Wash Junction Deluxe Pit Row playset, which was again released in 2013. I'm not sure what, exactly what it originally retailed for, but um, I've got it for about, I think $35 on Amazon a few years ago. Originally it was sold at um, Toys R Us only. Um, it comes with the same stuff as last time, except we're not sure exactly if the skipper was um, part of this one or the other one but um, we know there was a dusty in each because we have another plastic one here. Um, so it comes with the same, those same two 
uh, track pieces. We have one connected here, and then the other here, as well as this slide thing, the same buildings, and then um, also three extra pieces on here with this sign, and then um, four tents, as well as the subsequent pities for each, which are, again, plastic. Uh, it also has stickers for um, the numbers down here, and I don't think the you have to actually put the stickers on the flags, and they already come on there. So starting on the top side of the pit row here, uh, we have these two die casts, which were not sold with it, but we bought um, on Amazon. I believe this one might have come in a pack with some others. I'm not exactly sure uh, what other ones were in it, but this is uh, LJH86 Special. I'm not sure. Um, I forget exactly what part of the movie he's from, but kind of features American flag print over him. And then also number nine, Tysonitis, which does have a working landing gear. Um, they, I know he was from the qualifying scene of the movie, um, and then this next part was from uh, the original pit row at uh, JFK Airport. So it features Bulldog, Rip Slinger, El Chupacabra, and Dusty's Tents. Um, so we do not have uh, an actual uh, Rip Slinger die cast. It doesn't come with one either. It doesn't actually come with any of them, and even in plastic, but uh, we do have a Bulldog one here. Again, ordered separately on Amazon and El Chupacabra. And then these pitties. I'm not sure if these uh, got released as die cast, but these are uh, plastic here, each one. And then for Dusty, it's Dotty, which did get releases diecast. And then uh, at the bottom here, which this piece uh, is usually connected over here with that part, um, we have Rochelle, which does have a landing gear here. So on this other part here, um, we have of course, the Chug diecast in his building. And then uh, we also have Roy Bull here, which is, he's from the, uh, the Fleisenhauer scene. He also comes with these accessories to his phone and keypad. We uh, found him at, um, if you saw our last hunting video, at a Shopco, uh, which was really random. They had like probably 10 of him on clearance for just a few bucks. Um, but that was the only planes die cast there. We found some other random selections there, so you can check that video out. So we do have one last die cast that's from the uh, first planes movie that doesn't necessarily have a specific place in the playset, but this is uh, Sharps, which is the plane that uh, Dusty raises the shadow of. It's a deluxe, has working propellers, as well as uh, landing gear that has a bit more function as it has these I got stuck there, but these kind of doors that will close and then open them again. So the last part of our entire playset area is the Piston Peak section, uh, which includes two playsets. This first one is uh, the Control Tower playset, uh, which we found about four years ago on clearance at a Meyer, which is a Midwestern grocery store. They usually have uh, good car selections there, which are also kind of random. Um, again, this was kind of after, or at the time they were uh, starting to take uh, planes diecast and play sets off the shelf. Then we also have uh, Maru's Gas Up and Go here. Uh, I'm not sure if we found this at Meyer or at uh, Walmart. It was one of the two uh, on clearance. This one was for about either 10 or 15 bucks. And uh, same with this one. So uh, the Control Tower playset comes with one uh, plastic die cast in here patch, uh, which has a working elevator here that goes up and down, kind of falls off sometimes, as well as an area to put a plane up here. It comes with this plastic fire and rescue dusty as well. And then these two pieces 
uh, runway, which as you can see, aren't necessarily compatible with this where they click on. Um, but we just kind of have them off to the side here. Um, these two die casts are separate, but we found them at uh, Target, uh, just in our various die cast hunting in the past five years or so. This is the Secretary of the Interior. A lot of these die casts got limited release. Uh, they don't have as much release as um, the Cars die cast now, so they're more rare. I believe this one is a little bit more rare to the tractor buck. And then this one, uh, Blackout, I found this at um, on clearance for about $3 at Walmart uh, about three three years ago. Um, so again, after they were taking stuff off the shelves. This is also in our first hunting video. If you want to go check that out, see what else we found then. And then uh, this is Ted Yale. I believe we found him at Target um, uh, right before they took the plane stuff out of the stores. And then uh, this die cast, Bessie C. Flywell, uh, which also kind of features like a tennis ball here, kind of playing off elderly people having tennis balls on the bottom of their walkers, which is kind of a, a neat little feature of this. We found that at um, Shields, which is a Midwestern sporting goods store. That was also in our second hunting video. The last place set here is Maru's Gas Up and Go. Um, as I said before, we found this on clearance. And then it comes with a Maru here, which is plastic. Uh, the wheels don't turn on here, which I'm not sure why they didn't come with a plastic like kind of in these other play sets, where as you can see, the wheels do turn as normal. The only difference from a, a die cast is that is the material. Um, and he's also, I believe, kind of larger than the uh, die cast Maru, certainly than other um, smaller pitties. And then it features an elevator here, which if you put it, a car on, go up and then lock, um, and then you can also send either a car or a plane down here, and then this uh, function here, which sort of shows a gas meter when you press this down. Uh, this just moves around, doesn't really serve any function, and then of course you can put the elevator down again, and when it's at the top, it has this little tilt function too, to push the car down. So we hope you enjoyed our video of all of our planes diecasts and play sets. Please let us know in the comments if you'd like to see uh, more content of either more in-depth reviews of diecasts or play sets, or we can certainly uh, order more if that's what you guys want. Uh, also, any requests for uh, cars play set reviews or diecast reviews or any videos, leave those in the comments. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more content, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.